Hi, today I'm going to be building in, in Minecraft a cottage for the Build-A-Bear Spring Green Frog that they released in 2020. So, uh, this is my first voiceover that I've done on my YouTube channel and I wanted to do it for Minecraft because I, I love Minecraft and stuffed animals because stuffed animals have always been really important to me and really close to my heart. And so I'm just building a foundation here first because why not? And uh, figuring out what blocks do, looking at some inspiration on Pinterest, I decided to go with a white with uh, regular oak for the main part of the build. I just wanted to make it look like the frog would live in it. And picking up the door, setting all of that up. And I, I was a dumbass and I used uh, concrete powder instead of actual concrete because I like the texture. In my texture pack, the uh, text, a little added texture of the concrete powder is really nice. And so I used that, but it's like sand or gravel where it falls and it doesn't stay up. So that was a little, that was fun to work with. But here I'm adding the overhang for the roof. I went with uh, the same as the foundation, which is just regular uh, the, the cobble, <laughs> the uh, the stone, you know, do you know? And uh, chopping down some trees because deforestation, fun. Uh, and then you can see me having trouble with the uh, the concrete powder. That was fun. <laughs> and yeah, so the so I want to tell you about the uh, but we're spring green frog while I'm just adding, well, I'm thinking of what to add to this build. So the spring green frog is very popular amongst the gays and people like that. Uh, he's very soft, very cuddly. I really like the green that they did. It's not super like a forest green, but it's not like a neon green. It's a nice in between. And on the house here, I added uh, grass to the frame to add like a middle to the roof to add just a little bit of a little bit of spice <laughs> and it kind of looks like a hobbit house which I love and you'll see at the end here the inside of the house is actually tiny because of the framing and stuff even though it looks pretty big on the outside it's the opposite of the TARDIS and so I had to add another room on here more deforestation The Spring Green Frog was released in 2020 and sold out relatively soon. I, it was released around the time that the uh, pandemic started, if you remember that. And I remember it was uh, booming in popularity on TikTok. It did not come back for a solid, like almost a year. I remember it was re-released in December of 2020 and then obviously it came to stores and it was yeah it's very popular still but yeah and here I'm adding on another little room and messing up on the uh, framing of it because building is not my forte I'm trying to get better at it but uh, it's not not my thing going in and uh, hiding the dirt from the roof with some stone and then adding on the walls with fun concrete powder. And then the, uh, the roof for the other building was a pain in the ass to figure out. Like, it looks nice, I appreciate it, but holy fuck, it was a pain. And yeah, I didn't know whether I wanted to do a circular roof or another roof like the one on the main building. I did a circular one. I like the way it came out, it looks nice. And still, adding onto it, adding the overhang, yeah, it took a lot. It took me a good, like, 20-15% of this entire build time 
which was over an hour, which is a lot for this tiny little house. But I do really like the way it came out, so I guess I'm okay with that. And I added some more grass to bridge it between. I really like the way the grass looks on the roof. It's something I'm definitely going to add to a lot of my builds. But yeah, I just wanted to make this house super like greenery based, something that a frog would like. I would hope that a frog and like frog and toad would see this house on one of their journeys and be like, oh yes, we will stay here. This house was meant for the gaze. It really, it really was. And just working on this dumb roof because circular roofs are the death of me in Minecraft, I swear. But I'm thinking about adding some windows and uh, I ultimately remove uh, some of them. I don't, yeah. Don't know if it's this one. I don't remove this one, I remove another one. Because I'm indecisive about windows and I don't like the way that a lot of them look. Adding some more framework and shit. And then I tried to add uh, trap doors for some nice little like window blinds, not blinds, trap, oh what, god, what's the word? The window covers, what's the word? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that, and now it's interior design. Now it's interior design, I added some bookshelves because I'm a fucking sucker for bookshelves. And then I love adding the beehives underneath and on top of the bookshelves to make it look like filing cabinets. I really like that. Try adding paintings. I hate the uh, regular Mojang, like official paintings that come in the regular texture pack. So I didn't add any. <laughs> added some beds. I used a green because you know, it's a frog. Added some nice plants. I really like using the ferns I learned. And then deciding what to add in this space right here. I decided to add a little kitchen. It doesn't really look like a kitchen at the start, but it, it comes together eventually. Just 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 wait. It does come together. Couldn't figure out where I wanted to put a lot of this stuff. Or like how I should put it. But I did it. I did work done. I put a little uh, fish on the counter, added some uh, banners to look like little curtains. I added a cake to the little like desk table thing on the side by the window, which I thought was nice. I would go back and take a little slice out of it if I redid the house now though. And then I added some item frames with some decor because I hate using the photos, not photos, the paintings, I hate them. And so I like to just find random stuff and put them in item frames to make them look like nice little decor around the house. And then the finishing touches, I was just trying to add some uh, scenery to the outside, some flowers, some greenery. Uh, I suck at doing like greenery landscape work, so I just used bone mail because it's easy. And then took some screenshots and then here is a little walkthrough of the house. I really like the way that it turned out. I like the little item frames. Uh, that one's actually like uh, frog eggs. And there's the nice bookshelves, the kitchen area, little fish. Yeah, I really like it. I like the way it turned out. I would live in this myself. And I think I think it's a good representation of the build -a bear spring green frog. I think he would see this and like it. The little flowers on top. There's one of the windows go over to the other side see another window and another window because I yeah I forgot I added another window you go in and see how nice it looks in there so nice and cozy and yeah there's the little spring green frog cottage thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later bye